News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. Hello there, very good evening and warm welcome to Newsline Live. My guest this evening is the politician Chandima Virakudi, uh, a one-time cabinet minister as well at that. And uh, he's right here. Very good evening to you, Mr. Virakudi. Well, good evening, Faraz. Thanks for the invite. Um, yes, thank you. Um, what, what's your take on the political situation now? Well, uh, I think uh, we are struggling to retain uh, 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 power or uh, right that the white people gave us in 1931, which we maintain uninterrupted. That is our universal franchise. Mm. We are a country that has not had provincial elections for the past almost five, six years. Mm. Now, we are seeing signals from the government and the adult state that we will not have local elections also. So we, as citizens of democratic, socialist democratic republic of Sri Lanka, mm. are now struggling financially, mm. struggling without the right to education, mm. stri struggling without the right to be employed and on top of everything we are beginning to struggle to retain our right to franchise. Um, are you saying then that it's past due uh, for a national government of whatever? Is it all parties should come in together? Is I that mean, what you're saying? It's not possible practically. You right. know, you can see all what the government is doing is playing politics. Mm. They are doing everything to retain power, not to take the country forward. So are you then saying that all the opposition must come together? The opposition coming together mm. will not be enough to form a government. Then because what? this government, then what? Then what? elections is the only solution. What that trust Eventually, we will have to go for general elections. Mm. But immediate, as of now, yeah. We have to, the government, according to the constitution and the acts of parliament, it is mandatory that we have local elections. Hmm. Okay. Let the people vote and pave way uh, for a parliamentary election. I mean, this is long overdue. Okay. When, when President Gotabe Rajapaksa fled the country yeah. and when President Ranil Vikramasinghe was appointed by 134 people, yeah. Understanding was that there will be a general election within six months. That was what the people of this country Boots, who asked said for. That? Who said that? That was like the unanimous request yeah. and understanding of the people. But unfortunately, not only that we are not getting a general election, but we are not getting even the local election that is due. And as a result of that, we are expecting IMF facility. Mm. When President R R Vikramasinghe Rajapaksa took over, mm. he very clearly said mm. that the international community will come forward and they will help us immediately. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen to date. Leave well, aside yeah. international com community coming to help us. The facility that we are longing to get from IMF has we can see is getting delayed are except you, for you, the except for the now last December before the, before last December mm. the talk was that we are getting it we are getting it we thought we'll get it overnight next week following week and then in December 31st mm. till the 31st of December also God, the government said was no no we are getting it that's what the government media said that's what the president and the the, the cabinet of ministers and the government members said but unfortunately, on the 31st of December, when we were not, we just confirmed that we are not getting it. They said, okay, in a couple of weeks, we'll get it. As of now, we have now the next session is by the 31st of March. Mm. But between the 31st of December and to date, the only positive message that we have heard as far as, as, far as IMF facility is concerned mm. Mm. is the message that we have got received from India. That is also... 
a copy of a letter that the Indian government has written to IMF, which is copy to the media. To date, as far as I know, IMF has not informed the government of Sri Lanka that the Indian government has consented to whatever the requirements that the IMF wants in order to facilitate Sri Lanka. Mm. And uh, Chinese government to date has not been able to give. And the Paris club, it, we say like every day news according to news, according to ministers, according to the president. They said like very soon the facility, uh, the whatever approvals will be granted, will be obtained by the Paris club, will be obtained and granted by China. So these this all, is all what we hear. This is all borrow. At, I mean, it has to be. Otherwise, I mean, every other day we hear these stories, but we are not seeing anything positive. It is so unfortunate. And today, uh, the, the, the foreign minister yeah. has told uh, Al Jazeera mm. that the country will collapse if we don't get the facility by March. Mm. In order to get the facility, we have to get one Chinese confirmation yeah. and then Paris Club confirmation, mm. which we still haven't got. Mm. And this is mid February, mm. almost mid February. So it is a very, I mean, sad situation. Well, okay. But it is a well known fact and it is been carried on the media from time to time on a regular basis. And that is RW and his supporters always, almost, boast of his connections to the international connections. So what has come of these international connections? Well, international connections, when you say just because you can eloquently speak in English, just because you are an intelligent individual who can, uh, who has uh, substance in what you say, yeah. doesn't mean that you are capable of convincing any community or any organization. Mm. If you are not ready to practice what is expected by the international community and the organizations. Firstly, transparency, then rule of law, equality before law, and then uh, the, the but above elections. All this, but above uh, all of this, they, they, quite frankly, there is no economic recovery plan. There is no sustainable plan to increase the flow of dollars into Sri Lanka. Yes, all that, I mean the plan. So there's no plan. If there's no, we, no plan, how we, can the lenders give you money? Plan, like we, to have a plan, first of all, you have to establish what I earlier said in order to convince such organization. With that, the plan has to come. Plan, we have, we have sat together for long hours, for many days and prepared a plan and mm. we have given it as the opposition. Mm. We sat as various groups together and prepared a plan and we have given it. We are ready to implement our plan mm. if we are given the opportunity to do that. But unfortunately, neither we are given to implement what we have proposed, nor the government is trying to implement what we have given it to given them. Unfortunately, as a country, now for, for now this is about the ninth month mm. that we are defaulting loan installment indeed for the for the ninth consecutive month we have not been paying and at the same time <coughs> we are telling the people we have been telling the government has been telling the people oh look here now no no fuel queues no gas uh, queues no fertilizer issues um thank you very much for your guests uh, for, for your guest questions actually um zero double seven two three hundred three zero five uh, card should come up on your screen. Uh, please ask your guest that as a lawyer, if he did not, did you not see that the Rajapaksas were not able to look after the poor people? How could you expect the poor people to know that? Uh, he, you were also responsible for passing the two third, etc., and should ask the forgiveness of the people. Certainly, as elected members of the parliament. Now, as an elected member, I have served in four parliaments almost. Mm. 
But I can tell you personally, mm. I have discharged my duty and the responsibility mm. as expected by the people of the country and people who voted. Mm. Because I have not been involved in any, any, anything which is unlawful. Not only that I don't have a case, I have not been, there has not been even a complaint against me. So mm. I maintain that. Mm. And, and whatever responsibility that I have been assigned, I have discharged to the satisfaction of the people of this country. Mm. But unfortunately, when you work in a group, yeah. when you work in a party, there, are, there has been various agenda. As a result of that, only those parties are now into shambles. They are like into pieces. People have completely uh, rejected such parties. But on my own, I must tell you, independently I have raised these concerns yeah. and openly outside in the media yeah. I have raised and I have opposed whatever mistakes, wrong moves and I have not only that I have opposed, I have come out with my solutions and proposals mm. but unfortunately mm. we have not been given opportunity due to the mafia that the parties have had but now that is why the people want a new face, a new team of people mm. who can be uh, trusted, who are competent, who have experience, who are uh, ready to have, uh, who have worked mm. and who can be expected to take this country forward the way people expect. So we are in the process of forming that. Mm. A group or alliance of people to take the country forward. Is there any information in your domain, in, in the world that you inhabit, that the delay in reaching agreement with the IMF is because the IMF wants certain negotiations done, which may well result in the local debt also taking a haircut, and that spells, can spell disaster for lots of reasons. Is that, is that why there is a delay? No, well, to, I personally don't know what the stage of the, the real uh, negotiations are, to tell you frankly. But I know personally, now, whatever that could be detrimental to the country could be avoided. Mm. If you are in a position to act trans in a transparent way, that in a way that is acceptable to the, the, the international community. Yeah. If we can, if they understand that we are genuine, yeah. we will be able to convince them to give us whatever facility which is, uh, which is, which is for the benefit of our country. By the same token, isn't it also so that your party and your the opposition pe parties who have, as you say, you have a plan and you're ready. Uh, and if, if the government, if you've given it and if they're not doing anything about it, then isn't it up to you to give it high publicity well, we all have, over the place? No, we have already given, I think, uh, Dr. Harshadi Silva presented it on our behalf mm. and we have given enough publicity. And in fact, when the, the, the tax law amendment was brought in, yeah. we had our alternative proposals mm. and we proposed it at the Public Finance Committee. But mm. unfortunately, or uh, like according to the laws of the country, no private amendment can be brought in uh, when a finance uh, amendment to a finance bill act is presented to parliament. Mm. But there was deaf hearing given mm. to our proposals. I mean, we did a comparison of what the, the systems in uh, other countries that are more or less similar to Sri Lanka mm. is, what could be practical. Now, for instance, the, 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 by imposing a pay tax to, uh, uh, to the groups that earn between 100,000 to 200,000, yeah. uh, government can't uh, earn even 900 million. In order to earn that amount of money, yeah. they are suppressing the, the future of the, the young professionals and they are uh, promoting young, intelligent, talented Sri Lankan to leave the country. Isn't so, this all part of, uh, you know, Mr. Vikramasinghe 
is fond, if that's the right word, of saying that he has international connections. And now he's saying that the IMF, everything is down to the IMF. The high taxes are because of the IMF and so on. And he then sort of gives a little carrot saying, but they also wanted me to tax the people who started off at 100,000. And, uh, you know, so uh, we refused and so on. Okay. Isn't this all part of a neoliberal agenda and to hell with the people? Well, this is all because of a government that doesn't have a people's mandate. That is not sensible and that is not sensitive towards the feelings of the people. Mm. I mean, government is there, the politicians are elected to look at and think of the people, how they feel and to uh, get the experts uh, to uh, come out with the expert proposals and do the right thing. But here, we are acting, I mean, of course, whatever that has not been done over a period of time is an issue. Mm. But it is, I mean, whatever uh, amendment, drastic change that you do, yeah. try to bring in, mm. should not be uh, detrimental towards the, the, the people. It is like, now we, under, I mean, now I, 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 I saw uh, today Honorable Ali Sabri, mm. he was finding it very difficult to answer. He, he like was trying his best to be diplomatic. But the fact that Sri Lankan people are starving mm. is a known fact as a member of parliament who is elected from a southern district. Mm. I know how people in my area, people who have voted for me are suffering now. Let's, uh, let's go for a short break and then find out after that break uh, who, in the opinion of Mr. Chani Mawirakudi, Member of Parliament, who is most suitable to take Sri Lanka forward. We'll see you on the other side of the break. News First, Newsline with Faraz. Experience the best in healthcare at Durden's Hospital's new Alfred Place Wing. We continue to evolve into a purpose-built hospital of the future, with an ambiance built to deliver world-class care. Durden's Hospital, dedicated to you. News First, Headlines, Main Sponsor. Durden's Hospital, dedicated to you. Two earthquakes rock Turkey. Death toll crosses 1,600. More than 6,000 injuries reported. Rescue efforts hampered by heavy snowfall. His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Oswald Gomez, laid to rest. Trade unions to launch joint protest on the 8th against unjust taxes. Police disrupt trade unions in Colombo. GMOA to move away from private treatments on the 8th. Mahasanga to protest in Colombo against the 13th Amendment on Wednesday. Samagitana Balavega to boycott President's policy statement on Wednesday. Court grants bail to social media activist Darshana Hadungoda, who was arrested at the BIA. Elections won't be postponed, says SLPP General Secretary. News First, Headlines, Main Sponsor. Durden's Hospital, dedicated to you. Experience the best in healthcare at Durden's Hospital's new Alfred Place Wing. We continue to evolve into a purpose-built hospital of the future with an ambiance built to deliver world-class care. Durban's Hospital, dedicated to you. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaudali. And welcome back to Newsline Live. I'm in conversation with Mr. Chandima Virakudi, who's of course a member of Parliament. Mr. Chandima Virakudi, who do you think can fix Sri Lanka to... Uh, Sri Lanka's problems and who do you think can lead Sri Lanka out of this terrible mess that we are in? Well, as far as when you compare uh, the, the available uh, 
leaders and the groups in Sri Lanka. Mm. Uh, my personal yes, view, I'm only asking a personal view. Yeah, my personal view mm. is that uh, it is uh, definitely Sajid Premadas and his team mm. who are competent mm. for that uh, purpose. When did, when did you reach this revelation? Well, I've been, uh, as, a, as an independent member of parliament, mm -hmm. I've been comparing the, the, uh, the proposals, mm -hmm. ideology, mm -hmm. the, the group of people, because one person cannot deliver. Mm -hmm. You have to understand, because I, you know, the, the, the best example is uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa, whom entire nation... Six thought, nine thought, million votes, two-thirds yeah, majority in parliament, parliament and thought any can off. fix the country. Yeah. But he miserably failed. Mm. He like as a, as an individual he failed, and he couldn't fathom the support of a group. He brought in. He couldn't at least. I mean, okay, if he's not competent, he would have had the he had the opportunity mm. to select a, a competent group of people to uh, be in his cabinet, to be in his team. But even there, he failed. So. Out of the options available, I believe uh, this could be the team that could take the country forward and out of this mess. And um, what chances of uh, this coming to fruition? Well, what are the, the challenges? Tell us. No, the, 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 the mm, number one challenge is to get an election. Right. So, in, in, in so far as uh, the do you think, country is do you, do you think the to... message is quite clear to President Vikram Singer that the people who backed him, the 134, 134 members who backed him, that the instructions from them would be, don't have elections, let's trundle along till the end of the natural term of this parliament? Well, naturally, you know, uh, I know uh, none of them uh, are in a position to face the people who voted them. They are not in a position to uh, even move about freely. Mm. So, the only... But they're I mean, costing us a colossal package. They are, not only that, I mean, they, they also must think long term. They, the, the attempt to retain power for a short period might cost them in the long term. So the best is to let the people, to you, give an opportunity to the people to decide so that the people will uh, take their decision and leave these people uh, to mind their business. But if you try to retain power forcibly, mm. people will get together to uh, face that force, but which will... Uh, it's a perverse almost. Uh, waste of money and uh, resources, the hard-earned money of the people who pay their taxes, who are now forced to pay up to 36% in taxes, to find out that, you know, you have a property in Miriana and you didn't deliver what the people voted you in for. You went off midstream, you know, on some jaunt, and then you, you resign by email, we are told, and then you come back and you're given some state property because, you know, the, the act says you can. Where is the shame in that? Why can't you just, you know, buzz off and live in your house and uh, have some security? Well, not it's only It's a perverse that. spend. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, as I understand, uh, not only a house, he's given 17 vehicles and 950,000 per month for his food, so which is not acceptable. 950,000? That rupees a month. Rupees a month. That was that was what was in media. He never came and he never disputed that. And he's now moved in from one house to another. I mean, this individual. But the people, the should people, know the people, the people continue to vote for these types. They continue to vote for them. Don't you tell your constituents? Don't you point it out and say, "Listen, chaps, these guys are ruining you." I have been openly telling them because that's mainly one of the key reasons why I can be with the people. I've always been truthful to the people. I've, as a politician, I've always done what can be explained to the people, not to anyone else. Mm. Uh, what I've done, 
all my life in politics can be justified in any forum. It is open to anyone to ask as to why what was done by me in my political career. So, so that that's 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 what you you say. Do you think that the, that the enough has been, you know, the information enough has been sent out there to the public that the people will finally realize that the they shouldn't be electing such people. Well, not today. Even during my own election campaign, I have been telling the people, I have been appealing to the people to look at the the people who are coming for who have were before you. Look mm. at them, go into them, find out who they are, what they have done, how well you can trust them, mm. and then vote. Even in my case, that's what I've been telling them. Just just because I come and tell you to vote for me, don't vote. Mm. Dig into my history, my background, what I've done and what I can do, mm. what can be expected by. I mean, that has been the case in my case. But at the same time, there are various organizations that have been trying to educate Sri Lankan people. Mm. I think this is the, the right time for everyone to or to be told not to be misled because we are in a country that is, is like all out to follow waves. Mm. You go by with the wave and then realize that you have gone on a, on a wrong direction. This is not the first time. We have seen such waves. Now in, in, in even in 2004, there was such wave. Mm. And this is, and then 2015 there was one. And again, uh, people can be uh, blind in taking decisions. So, I think it is up to the people to uh, to request or demand to to question individuals who are contesting, parties who are contesting, party leaders who are coming forward about their policy. Do you think the international community are being unfairly silent? Uh, when they see that the PTA is being used rather liberally uh, to arrest people who um, ostensibly break the law, but they're actually protesters. And uh, the president told a, a reporter, a foreign reporter, that the police in Sri Lanka are only arresting people who break the law. But unfortunately, that uh, journalist didn't respond and say that you're doing that here mainly with the protesters by using the PTA? Well, I mean, this is a story that everyone knows. Present president has, before he became the president, has been completely against action under PTA. He was spearheading uh, a move mm. to amend the act. But it's now but working for him. unfortunately, he himself used it to reprimand a student leader, mm. two, two or three student leaders, yes. which will not be acceptable by the international community as well as Sri Lankan community and which was completely rejected by the, the Sri Lankan judiciary. Mm. So this kind of conduct, I, I think the, 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 the president and the secretary of defense mm. who acted arbitrarily should be held responsible well, for this type of conduct because I mean the, the damage that it has done mm. to the country, damage that it has done to our tourism industry. You know, but the any, any traveler. Under the rules, yeah. uh, the defense secretary can be charged uh, but not a serving president. No, but once, once he... He, he, he ends his term. Yes, that's the president. Yeah. But why can't why why not the defence secretary? Yeah, they will have to be because mean. the damage that they, this conduct has done to the the, the tourism industry. Mm. Look at it. I mean, even any anyone who before who travel who wants to travel to Sri Lanka will like go online and check. Yeah. Sri Lanka will come come out as a country where there was terrorism. Indeed. Sri Lanka, when you look at, they will see 
they will see protest and then they will see protest leaders who are students are dealt under PTA. Uh, so Tony Mirakuri, we so, unfortunately we've run out of time, yes. but I'm sure Sri Lanka will see what is happening very, very soon indeed. It's now time for the prime time news. Take care, have a great evening as much as you can, and as always, God bless you all.